Good morning, everyone. We are two students from Chittam School of Music, an amazing place where all dreams come true. No offense for this, for this school, of course. <laughs> and talking about dreams, today, Thomas and I would like to tell you a little bit about our own artistic dream, musical composition. We'll talk about identity through composition and the role of a composer today. And to finish our presentation, we'll perform my piece, My Own Desert Places for Alto Saxophone and Piano. As I'm saying this, I think that there are some people, not you of course, but some of the people who are watching us, for example, via internet at this moment, some people who have the computers and the mobile phones in hand and who are getting messages from WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter. Indeed, we live in a society which is completely dominated by the technological development. As a result of this, the role of a composer has much changed with respect to the past centuries. But music is still a very important and essential part of our society. This unprecedented situation sometimes creates a dilemma as we try to find our identity, our own personal voice. It is not enough to write music and wait patiently for someone to perform it as it would be expected to happen in the past. From my point of view, composers today need to understand the need of a more technological approach, mainly through the interaction between media and music. It would be very difficult to find an identity as an artist in the 21st century if we are unaware of the needs and interests of our society. Whereas in the past, certain genres such as orchestral works, operatic music, and religious music, depending on the historical period, were very popular. From the 20th century onwards, there is an ever-increasing interest in music for the screen, including films, advertising, and video games. In my former secondary school, ES Europa, I used to collaborate on different short films by writing the script, composing the soundtrack, and sometimes, because the budget was pretty low, I also had to use my acting skills. In order to compose this music, these soundtracks, I first watched the film without any sound, focusing on the emotions of the characters, the plot, the historical period, the position of the camera, the colors, the lighting. After that, I composed the soundtrack using different orchestration techniques and a different musical style, depending on the already mentioned criteria. After that, I manipulated the sounds by using different software, such as Logic, and finally, I put both images and music together. To sum up, I would like to show you a short video which includes fragments from two very contrasting short films. The first film is a thriller and therefore required very tense music. I used a string quartet with extended instrumental techniques. And the second film is a historical film, which therefore required uh, music because the film is based, is set in the Middle Ages. I tried to focus more on certain instruments such as the horn or the flute. Many thanks and hope that you like it. Thank 
gripe, ¿no? No sé si puedo esperar tanto. ¡Pilar! De quitarte todo y dejarte sin nada. Pero el fuego también es depurador, hermano, y limpiará nuestra alma manchada. Por ello, llevaremos por pena la culpa. Cada vez que veo esta amalgama de colores y sonidos, esta huerta de prolíficos bosques de castaños y encinas, excavada por las afiladas hoces de las cordilleras, Siento como un enorme estremecimiento me sacude de pies a cabeza. Unas tierras tan fértiles como estas no deberían estar en manos de un señor tan caprichoso y novicio. Su juventud e inexperiencia le impiden tomar las decisiones correctas y su falta de responsabilidad hace que desaproveche los recursos y abandone y descuide sus tierras. So good, good morning, everyone. Uh, an interesting thought I just had before coming on was uh, composers are a bit like buses. You wait for one and then two come along at once. <laughs> Thank you. I am Thomas Slater and I identify as a composer. Um, what does this mean? Well, I've always felt that um, my life would only be complete if I communicate through music. So, to that effect, I started to learn to sing. I heard you saw the Amazon To show the country that you're from Is where the world should want to be For I find something all people need So, there you go, so I had to give that up pretty quickly. <laughs> I, I really decided that that wasn't for me. So then I started to arrange these songs in various different styles, so I then started to arrange these in very romantic piano styles like this. <laughs> Like that, or then, slightly later on, I became more and more, I, I uh, skipped about a hundred years in about three weeks in my compositional development and ended up writing like this. So, jazz. <laughs> so, this, um, this, this gave me an interesting idea of what to do today. Identity. What's identity for a composer? Now, composition is a very private thing. So what I thought I would do um, now, and this has never, ever been tried before, is to write a piece right now in the remaining three or so minutes that I have. And this piece is going to be a... And, uh, and again, it's another response to the song that I sang at the start, Declan McKenna's Brazil. And I am going to show you how I write. So, we're going to start. I, uh, I quite like this from the song. So I'm just going to take those four notes. I like them very much, but... I'm a composer and I'm going to do something different, as always, very contrary bunch, we composers. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, turn it round. And I'm going to do that because I like doing that. Um, 
So, I, I like this motif very much. So, here it is. Let's do it again. This is a different pitch. Let's make sure you've got that. So, we've now established. So, I like this chord. And I like this chord. But I don't have a very good imagination. I'm not sitting here right now. It's quite, it's quite unnerving doing this. So, um, what I'm going to do is use that again. I'm going to go. And now I'm going to play it upside down. And I've transposed it again. That's something that we call inversion, but you needn't worry about that. <laughs> um, so, what have I got so far? Now what do I do? Do it again. There it is. I like those notes so much that I'm going to make a chord out of them. There you go. That's just that. And that. Put them down together. Simple as composition business. <laughs> so, and then to end the piece, let's simply have the uh, motif the uh, same way around to as we started for a bit of final, a final end to the piece. There we go. So I'll perform the piece now, having written that just now. Thank you. Now the moment that you're all waiting for. This is um, uh, My Own Desert Places after Robert Frost by Ignacio Manamesas. <laughs>